I might be one of the only people on the planet who feels like we've never truly had a bad movie in the Alien franchise. I know this may sound blasphemous to some of you, especially to the people who got all up in arms over the Ridley Scott prequels, but for me, I've enjoyed every single movie in this franchise in some way to a certain extent. But I would be lying to you if I said I didn't have doubts about the possibility of another Alien movie existing under the extended Disney banner. And maybe I'm setting myself up for disappointment here with this reaction, but hey, it wouldn't be the first time. Because as I was watching the new Alien Romulus trailer, I couldn't help but get sucked in. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. In fact, I would go as far as to say this is one of the more impressive trailers that I've seen in a long time. What the final product will end up looking like remains to be seen. But as of right now, this trailer did its job. It got me somewhat excited to see this movie. Let's discuss. I watch so you don't have to. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. You know, I feel like I've been discussing a new trailer almost every other day on this channel, and I wouldn't have it any other way. There's something very interesting about conversations that revolve around movie trailers. You will have some people who tell you not to be critical and to not judge a movie based on its trailer, even though a trailer's purpose is to do just that. That makes sense. And then you have other people like myself who understand that great trailers are kind of a dying art, unfortunately. And this is something that I've talked about many times on this channel. To me, presentation and first impressions are everything when it comes to getting people interested in your movie. And most of the time, modern trailers fail at doing that because they typically treat their audience like they are a bunch of idiots. But modern trailers are typically about explaining or showing too much to the point that you feel like you've seen the entire movie already by the time the trailer is over. And I've talked about this recently and I've said that teaser trailers, I think, are much more effective than full-blown trailers when it comes to getting people interested. And I think that the Alien Romulus trailer is a great example of that. I like it a lot. If I never see another trailer or another clip or another piece of advertising for this movie again, I will probably be a happy man. The teaser literally gave me everything that I could want. It got me interested in seeing this movie without even really revealing what the actual plot of the film is about. To me, everything about this trailer screams respect for what came before. In fact, it very much gives off the impression through its tone and its atmosphere that they are trying to return this franchise to its more horrific roots, which makes a lot of sense considering who is directing it. Director Fede Alvarez actually came out recently and confirmed that this film is intended to connect the other films in the Alien franchise, saying, quote, I love all those movies. I didn't want to omit or ignore any of them. As someone who loves all of those movies as well, I really appreciated that. How many times have we seen the legacy sequel route be taken by modern Hollywood and fail miserably? It's happened with almost every iconic horror franchise that I could possibly think of at this point. For modern Hollywood to be so arrogant to think that they can erase movies that people actually love and make a legacy sequel to replace it that they feel like is going to be superior but ultimately ends up not being, it is one of the dumbest and laziest trends that we've seen in modern entertainment. Stop it! And thanks to Fede Alvarez, apparently we are avoiding such a catastrophe for the Alien franchise. So good on him for respecting what came before while making this film at the very least. Now some of you might be saying, well that doesn't mean that the movie will actually be good. And you are 100% right. But the only time that I'm willing to give anyone the benefit of the doubt is when they give me a reason to. And honestly, that's what this trailer did for me. I'm willing to hear him out, and I'm willing to see his vision through. 
From the opening moments of this trailer, as we pan through a dark and desolate spaceship, with heavy breathing and tiny signs of chaos sprinkled throughout, like splashes of blood on the wall, and top it all off with the iconic alien music in the background, that little bit right there at least showed me that they understand what Alien fans are going to be looking for. In fact, this trailer takes direct inspiration from the original Alien Films trailer. This is what the Legacy sequel was advertised to do, but failed at doing. It's literally keeping the same energy. When a trailer feels intense, which happens to be a trademark of Fede Alvarez, then to me that speaks volumes about what we will ultimately get in the final film as well. How many times recently have you watched a trailer and felt literally nothing? It happens almost all the time. We aren't all reaction Joes on our reaction channels making stupid faces to mediocre content. Whoopie f***ing do. <laughs> hey, I'm impressed. Face huggers are f***ing terrifying as is. And somehow this trailer made them even more threatening. Granted, I would prefer more practical effects as opposed to CGI, but with the dark lighting, I think it's going to help the CGI look a bit better. What the hell am I looking at? When does this happen in the movie? We also had a little bit of a tease of body horror being thrown into this film, which is kind of a trademark when it comes to the Alien franchise. It literally feels like this trailer is hitting all the familiar beats without feeling like it's lazy. And then we have a shot of what is presumed to be our hero in this movie having her Ripley moment, moving cautiously towards the camera with a very big gun in hand. Is it a little bit too on the nose and familiar? Maybe. But you know what? Again, if it's done well, I really don't give a And they finished the trailer off with a very quick glimpse of the Xenomorph, another great choice. And after that, I pretty much just said, shut up and take my money. I don't need to know anything about these characters or their mission or how they come into contact with the alien species to begin with. Just give me an intense, atmospheric, and faithful alien movie and I'm going to have a good time. You son of a bitch, I'm in. Listen, I'm just as tired of Hollywood milking established franchises as the next person. You all know that. And would I prefer more original films? Absolutely. But if we have an opportunity to get a solid alien film from a talented horror director, then I say we should take that opportunity and run. When it comes right down to it, we don't really have issues seeing things that we love from the past being brought back. What we have an issue with is those things being disrespected when they are brought back. Listen, I may end up being wrong about this film. Again, it wouldn't be the first time. And if I am, you guys know that I will tell you so. But as it stands right now, because this trailer is pretty much all I have to go off of, I'm actually excited to see this movie. To me, even if the final product ends up being a pile of garbage, at the very least, this was a very good trailer that did everything that a trailer is supposed to do. Y'all be cool. Right on.